Hey, it's Holly and welcome to Living It Country. Today we have another gorgeous home we get to tour today. And I am so excited to have Melissa here from Austin Creek Farmhouse sharing her gorgeous home filled with home inspiration you are all going to love. So make sure you check her out in the description box below so you guys can go follow her. And without further ado, let's welcome her here today and tour her home. I'm Melissa with Austin Creek Farmhouse and I'm gonna give you a little tour of the front area of our home. I wanna thank Holly for asking me to do this. I've never done anything like it before, so I'm excited to share with you. So we built our house. We've been here a little over a year now. We worked with a local custom builder using his floor plans and then we got to choose everything that went inside and outside of the house as well. So I will share a few of those design choices with you, starting with our wall color. So we used agreeable gray all throughout the house. I feel like it is a perfect grayish color and doesn't pick up any blue undertones. So it's one of my favorite colors to use. Um, this is our whole living area. And then we have our kitchen and our nook over there and a little entry spot here. One of the things we really love about this floor plan is how open all of this is but that archway right there just gives it a little bit of separation that we really like. So over here, this little entryway is one of my favorite spots to decorate. I have always loved that table from World Market. At our old house, we didn't really have a spot for it. And when we were in the process of building, it went on sale. So I purchased it and put it in storage until we moved in. And it was probably one of my first spots to decorate. So. So again, over here is our living area. I love my TV stand. I just found that at Home Goods a few weeks ago and I feel like it really complements the mantle. So a little bit on our fireplace. When we went to choose the brick, we really wanted to have a brick fireplace. And when we went to choose the brick, they didn't have a color that matched what we were doing inside the home. And I had seen the faux German schmear technique on Pinterest and Instagram and actually really loved it a lot. So we went ahead and went with a red brick intending to do that. And it probably took us about close to a year before we did that. I think it was a little tough covering brand new brick. Had it been a lot older, I think it would have been easier, but it was a little intimidating to just go and cover up brand new brick. But I, the more I kept seeing pictures of fireplaces like that, I was just ready to go for it. And we absolutely love how it turned out. Um, our mantle came from a place, it's a couple hours from here, but they purchased dismantled barns and then you can buy the wood from them. So our mantle is actually from a barn that was built in the 1800s. And it's pretty cool when you purchase something, they give you a little paper that shows the barn when it was still together like where it came from, if it had a name and some history on it. So it's pretty cool. Like we really love the mantle. And then, so here's our living area. And then we'll go back over here to the kitchen. The kitchen's probably where we made the most design choices, I believe. Um, let me see if I can step back and get the coloring. So my number one question is what color is the island? All of our cabinets came painted from the cabinet company. The color is actually called Willow. Um, it's funny because depending on the time of day and the lighting, sometimes it will look blue, sometimes it will look gray, sometimes it will look green, but the color is actually a dark gray color. And then we were able to choose the backsplash and we added this little picture window behind the stove with the arabesque tile, one of my favorites. I love that. And then um, the beams are actually foam. So unless you're like looking really close, it's hard to tell. And then one other thing we did in our kitchen that is super fun is one of those cabinets is a pantry. Can you tell which one? 
you're looking at the tall one, that is it. So that is actually a hidden pantry. It looks like the rest of the cabinets, but when you open it up, if it were cleaner, I would show you, but it's so hard to keep a pantry organized and clean. Um, but it's a, it's a walk-in pantry, so you can walk in there, and that is one thing that we love. Um, over here, we have, this is our nook area. We actually built our table and the bench. We purchased the legs from Etsy, and then we followed the Anna White DIY plans and painted it, stained the top, and then painted and distressed it. I believe on my Instagram, I have a little, um, little, what are they called? Highlight, it's a highlight on my Instagram that shows when we made the table. So again, here's this area over here in the nook. We'll go back over to the living room. Thank you guys for checking out our little tour. I would love if you have any questions for me, come on over to Instagram and I would be happy to answer them for you. Thank you and thank you Holly again. A big thank you to Melissa for opening up her gorgeous home and sharing it with us here today. I hope you guys got some new ideas, new inspiration, and something that you can take away from this home tour to add to your home. So thank you again for watching today's video and I will see you guys later. Bye.